Okay, required text. Um, on the syllabus part of the canvas, you will um, find links um, as you go through to a bunch of books that you can download that are licensed as Creative Commons um, books. Just download them all, um, and that's those are required. Some of them are comic books or whatever. There's an important part in the pages of the canvas. Um, it's called the things to do before class. What you'll see is it will say unit three, and it will say things to do before class. Read this, watch this, listen to this. Um, and that's what I expect you to do before you engage with unit three. Y you know what I'm saying? Oh, unit 12, you know, before you do unit 12, read this you know, article or, or whatever. Um, and all that will be po that's posted on the canvas. You go to pages and then it says things to do before class. Now on the, <clears throat> <coughs> on the syllabus, I have a chart. It's a, it's a loose schedule and it has like, basically, what are we going to do? What are we going to watch? What do I want you to read, etc. Um, that's not always necessarily up to date because I'm always finding and adding, adding new stuff. So things to do before class. And actually, if you click on the link in the syllabus where it says things to do before class, which is linked a few times under required texts and right before the um, calendar, um, it will take you right to that page on the, on the canvas. So it's, you know, I think it's pretty intuitive. Um, and you can see the whole, you know, the whole schedule and what we're going to do for each unit and then all of the topics okay yo listen we's almost done um academic misconduct yo like you know what am i going to do here you know like what am i going to do to prevent you from looking at your notes when you take a quiz or getting together with the three homies you have in the class and taking the quiz together. Am I gonna discourage it? Yeah. Is it cheating? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, ch cheating's bad, okay? You shouldn't cheat, cheating's bad. Uh, you shouldn't cheat, okay? But I don't even know what to do. Like, they're like, oh, have them sign a contract. What the fuck does that mean? Like, I don't even know what that means. Like, I don't know. Try to do your best you can to not, you know, to actually engage with the content. But, like, when you take the quizzes, you know, a lot of it is applying the ideas. So just, like, knowing what something means or a date or something may not be super helpful, okay? Um, so, yeah, I mean, with papers and stuff, don't plagiarize. Just don't cheat. It's bad. And as my dad would say, you're only cheating yourself. God. Okay, um, I give some, you know... Uh, if you have special needs or AC accommodations, just, you know, get in touch with me if you need more time for your quizzes. Um, you know, you've, you have special accommodations for your projects or papers or get extended time. All that stuff. I'm happy to accommodate. I got, like, a brutal case of ADHD and dyslexia. So, um, imagine doing a fucking PhD with those two things. <laughs> It ain't easy. Um, so I get it. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's a bunch of resources I list at the end. Uh, affirmative action, you know, um, you know, all, all, all that, all that stuff, you know, that is just resources for you. Um, you know, uh, if you, if you need it, um, you know, so the bias response team, uh, AC, you know, all that stuff. That's, you know, maybe more more impor important when you have, you know, in-class, in, in person meetings. Uh, oh, man, the sunsets here are so friggin' beautiful, so bomb. Um, anyways, uh, let's see here. You know, just again, quick things about the canvas. It's very self-explanatory, but, um, you know, you're doing modules, okay? If you go under the assignment part of canvas it will get you know you'll be able to look at the assignment descriptions for all of the assignments i'll have the rubrics you know tell you you know what you need to do to get an a what you need to do to get a, a, a c you know or whatever you know all that will be will be there if you go to pages this is very important if you go to the pages part of canvas there's an about section which is like crap it just talks about 
I probably me just talking about myself or the class, who cares? Um, uh, there's an assignment. Uh, I think I have an assignment, um, an assignment page there, which um, is sort of redundant, and I may actually erase it. So um, I'm actually I'm going to erase that part because you don't need it. So I'm going to get rid of the assignment page. The important thing there is what's called the points of power. Um, those are the, the slides for each, uh, each unit, okay? Um, now, uh, again, like, the slides are actually there for me. I use those to talk from. Um, I use them to keep me on track, you know what I'm saying? Because I do a lot of freestyling from them because I just know what I'm, I know this material. I don't sit there and read from screens or slides or whatever, which is also insulting, um, you know, for students. Um, because, like, why well, go to freaking class and have someone read slides to you? Like, you can read those slides to yourself. <laughs> um, but I, I, I use a lot of examples that I come up with from here based upon the slides. So, you know, um, you can't just look at the slides and expect to, like, get the the subject matter from that. So they're to kind of complement the lectures. Now, listen, here's the deal with the videos and the video lectures and all that stuff. Um, the first few are pretty brutal, meaning they're just longer. I have less images and stuff, but I kind of, like, after, like, a few classes, I hit my stride. Um, I start incorporating screen grabs of slides. I start incorporating video examples. I start incorporating, you know, images uh, that are in the slides or of the topic matter. So, like, it starts to connect a little bit more after, like, the first few lectures. So my apologies on that. If I can go back and, like, you know, make those a little bit fresher, um, you know, a little more proper, um, I'll do that. I'll do that for y'all. Um, but I, I don't know if it's going to happen, <laughs> uh, to, be, to be real. So points of power, that's the slides, um, and you can download all those or whatever and, and, and use them as you watch the videos. That may be helpful for, for some people. Um, and then there's obviously the things to do before class, which is there, and that's where you want to hit for, like, what you want to do before unit eight. Like, what do you want to read? Or at least, what does Andre want you to read? Never, you know, maybe you ain't going to do it, but what should you be expected to know? Again, I'll talk about what I want you to know from, from the readings um, and the viewings in the, in, in the lecture video. So, so that, that's there. And then there's a page called Valuable Resources. It's a bunch of, you know, movies, books, academic articles, uh, valuable sites, websites, organizations, um, things for you that may help you with, 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 with the class. Um, you know, content may help you with your paper, may help you with your project, or, or whatever. So um, that's the valuable resources. I think, I think like that's pretty much, that's pretty much the jam. Um, I'm happy you're here. You know, you know what I'm saying. I hope I do hope that you're you're taking care of yourselves um, and do, and doing well. Um, you know, and uh, you know, uh, uh, doing some things that make you happy. Fighting for social justice. I've been so impressed seeing uh, you know generation of people I thought were just like playing Fortnite and listening to trap music like doing some shit so respect for that um but yeah hopefully we can get our shit back back to normal to some degree whatever that's going to mean um but hopefully i get to meet y'all on zoom at least and you know i will be on campus in fall like you know i'll be teaching hybrid classes whatever so i'm, I'm putting myself out there um you know, so hopefully y'all are taking care of yourselves and not going to COVID parties and doing ring pop challenges and all this bullshit. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, let me know if you need anything. You got my cell phone so you can text me. You can snap face, TikTok message me, uh, whatever. Um, I'll, I'll be pretty good to, to respond. Um, you know, but I got a lot of things going on here at the farm. A lot of, a lot of projects I'm involved in for the next, um, couple months before school starts but uh do do hit me up and uh yeah 
Uh, hope you enjoy this class. Let me know if any of the links are broken, things aren't working. Um, any if you have any issues or if there's you know because there may be things on my end that I need to fix, um, and other students may be experiencing it. Spanky, do you want to say anything, dude? Are you just happy the chickens went into their coop and gonna go to bed? <laughs> uh, I don't know. You want to say bye? You just want to cuddle. Anyways, uh, yeah, stay safe, um, stay up, and uh, enjoy these videos from, like, April and shit. You get to see me with, like, four times I got, like, crazy poison oak from, like, doing a bunch of work around here and stuff like that. So you see me all fucked up from that and lecturing from an old toilet and stuff like that. So, um, I don't know, hopefully it's, like, fun and stupid. Um, and hopefully you get some, you know, learning out, out of all of it. And aren't bored out of your damn minds, because, I don't know, this is really testing your generation's uh, propensity for screens, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, um, enjoy. Me and Spanky, we're going to be out. Peace.